The one thing holding cycling motors back from further adoption to aviation is their thrust to weight ratio. No matter the responsiveness, quietness, or efficiency of a cycler rotor, the heavier weight of a cycler rotor compared to a conventional propeller holds the cycler rotor back from being commercially effective. Current cycler rotors nowadays have a 2.5 to 1 thrust to weight ratio. For example, developmental cycler rotors such as this one from the University of Maryland and this one from Texas A&M have thrust to weight ratios of around 2 to 1. The figures that I'm using for calculating this include the motor, transmission, and rotor. Cyclotech, an Austrian company working to build a full-scale cyclocopter, developed a rotor with a 2.5 to 1 thrust to weight ratio. The rotor that I have developed has reached a 4.6 to 1 thrust to weight ratio, and here's a little bit about what I've done. There are a few things that stand out in my design. One of the best decisions that I've made compared with other cycler rotors is 3D printing out all of the parts. This allows me to quickly and cheaply go through many design variations in order to find out what works the best. My blades are also novel. I developed solid foam blades that serve to both simplify the design over the more conventional blades used and are actually lighter. The simplicity of my cycler rotor design, as well as the ease of construction offered by the use of 3D printing, has allowed me to perform experiments on the effects of different changes to the design. I've optimized the gearing ratio, airfoil camber, and blade pitching for the maximum thrust, as well as the general structure and geometries of the rotor. However, I've also worked towards making the rotor efficient as well. At full throttle, the rotor has an efficiency of 4.0 grams per watt. This is roughly the same and even a little higher than other efficiencies reached. Now, the real question. How does a cycler rotor compare to a conventional propeller? Using the same exact motor with a 6x3 prop, I reached power consumption and thrust values that were within 2% of the cycler rotor's values. The cycler rotor and a similar sized propeller are pretty much identical in thrust and efficiency. Despite that, cycler rotors are much heavier than propellers. This will forever be an intrinsic disadvantage of cycler rotors. However, as we understand more about them, advantages inherent to cycler rotors will cause their efficiency to overtake propellers. That coupled with a higher throttle control responsiveness and a lower acoustic signature will possibly cause cycler rotors to overtake propellers as the choice propulsion system.